Well, one event happening this week during the APEC Summit hopes to celebrate the unique diversity of the Bay Area with large AAPI and LGBTQ communities. And our Sean Chitness is live this morning in the Castro District with more on the event called Gay Peck, an LGBTQ plus party for APEC. And good morning to you once again, Sean. It seems to be a nice blend of addressing serious issues while having some fun. Nicole, that's right. They definitely want to party, but they also want to talk about equality for the LGBTQ community, specifically in the Asia Pacific region. That's because among the nations that are in APEC, there is a range of policies for queer people. So GAYPEC hopes to be a celebration for the delegates and visitors that are here, celebrating the intersectionality of AAPI and LGBTQ identities, also looking at the history of this neighborhood and using it to push for progress and more acceptance abroad. The Castro has become a destination for visitors decade after decade since becoming an iconic neighborhood in San Francisco. Not only for its historic role in LGBTQ rights, but the sense of community it continues to offer today. So Bay Area leaders decided it was the perfect place to host a party during the APEC summit. We're excited to be able to host GAYPEC, recognizing the intersectionality between that of the Asian Pacific Islander community as well as our strong LGBTQ plus community. South Bay Assembly member Evan Lowe wants to lean into those large demographics and set an example for how they can thrive, especially for those who identify as both. If APEC was going to be in my hometown, um, I really ought to help put together something big and gay and queer um, for the event. San Francisco Supervisor Rafael Mandelman's district includes the Castro. He says they had to take this opportunity while hosting one of the largest international events in the city's history. I do think that there's tremendous power in community. Mandelman acknowledges that because the level of acceptance for LGBTQ people in the Asia Pacific region can vary, it may not be easy for some attending APEC to show up to an event like this. And there are also delegates who, for whom coming to an event like this may take a little bit of courage and may, may even be a little bit risky. Assemblymember Lowe adds that the fight for more rights in those nations motivates the organizers to lead by example, showing how everyone benefits from a more inclusive society. We want to show the world how absolutely fabulous we are here in San Francisco in the Bay Area. So on the serious side, we are talking about issues related to marriage equality, adoption rights, as well as hospital visits, being able to serve in the military and donate blood. But like we said, it's also a party. They have a full guest list and they are looking forward to having multiple drag queens perform on Wednesday night. Nicole, back to you.